the network. Wow. What's up everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean and this video is brought to you by BrandManNetwork.com because I signed myself. Now, I have a snippet from a very special interview with an artist by the name of Trey Little. Why is it special? Because he is blowing up on TikTok at the moment. He got on TikTok in a short period of time, probably only a few weeks, he got to about 15K. We start talking about certain things and then when we decided to do his interview, he had another like, I don't know, five to 10,000 followers. And even when I'm recording this video right here, since the interview, he probably got another 15 to 20,000 followers. He is moving and he's having a dope experience. Check this interview out to learn a little bit about him and how he's approaching TikTok and get some tips from him as well. This is an episode of Inside the Network you don't want to miss. How did that come about? What made you even get on TikTok in the first place? Okay, so the first thing that got me interested was I partnered with this organization called Positive View, and they're like an organization that travels around Michigan, and they're going to branch out eventually, but they brought me on as an artist, and we just started blasting a bunch of schools, like, all around Michigan, like, okay. um, the whole like the whole region and all that, and then when I pulled up to one of the schools, I did a show, and right after, it was, like, this huge group of kids came up to me. They were, like, middle schoolers, and they were, like, are you on TikTok? And I was, like, no. So I was like, I'm about to create an account just for y'all. Like I had a Musical.ly account, but it like, it just got buried down somewhere. And like, um, of course. but I created the TikTok right in front of them. And then I got like my first like 30, 50 followers because like, it was like a, a small group of people after the show that was determined to put me up on game. So yeah, that's how I initially got in on it. And then once <laughs> that's dope. That's it cool. was, it was slow there. Like, but it wasn't, and it really picked up when Gary V started talking about it and that's when it really, I got serious about it, you know. That's when you, when it picked up as far as you wanting to do it more? Yeah, yeah. And then I seen um, you and Corey do a couple videos about it. And I was like, man, this this thing, because, you know, oh, Lil Nas X blew up on it. Maybe that was just a one-time thing. But when Gary V talks about something, that's when I take it serious. So, like, he started saying, get on TikTok, get on TikTok. And I was like, let me try this thing. And then I literally just went all in on it, man. Like, uh, as I was still doing Instagram, YouTube, and podcast and all that. I decided to go full force on TikTok. And then literally like a couple days, I just started going viral. And I was like, oh my gosh, you know? <laughs> yeah. yeah, man. It's crazy. Like TikTok is such a new space still. People don't understand how new it is because some people might feel like they even missed their, their ways. But it's not that that old yet i mean we're talking about only a year in really as far as when they merged with musically they're a year in, in the u.s that is all right they existed in other markets before what why do you feel like no actually i'll ask you this what was your experience when you first got on tiktok now of course i know you got people to join i mean follow you immediately just because of that middle school situation but what did it feel like to you were you confused were you um, did you really feel like using it a lot or did you like Instagram better still? So first of all, Instagram is a beast. Um, really good. Like that's the, that's number one, you know, like, uh, for artists I feel, but when I first got on TikTok, it was the thing you see a lot of artists do. We get on there, we post one of our videos of us rapping and then, you know, get like three views or 10 views and then you get discouraged. And that was like the thing that happened. I got on there and I, I posted one video and then three days go by, I post another video. And it was like, man. And then I would hear the, the, oh, TikTok is for kids and for middle schoolers. And then um, people were kind of clowning on TikTok, you know? Mm -hmm. And at first it was like, dang, man, I posted a couple videos and nothing happened. And even back from the Musical.ly days, I had like one video on there and it just didn't do nothing, like 10 views, 20 views. And I was like, man, this isn't, this isn't working for me. Like, and that's what I initially thought. Mm. Okay, got you. Um... So what made you after? What made you keep going after you decided? Okay, yeah, Gary V is taking this thing seriously. So I probably need to take this thing seriously. What was your What was your action from there? It made you feel like okay, I'm starting to figure this thing out. So the action from there was like a combination of seeing these different things like all at once. It was like seeing other artists talk about it, seeing artists like blow up from TikTok after like Lil Nas X, even though they didn't get as big as him. And then seeing the Gary V and then I seen you do something about like how you can go live and how you can monetize that. And I was like, really? And that's when like the Mr. Krabs dollar signs went off. And I was just like, <laughs> I 
I was like, we about to get it, you know? So I, like, I'm yeah. one of the people that I go, when I hear about something, I go all in and see what happens. So what I did was you said something about some hashtags. So it was something about, okay, like, don't nobody really know I got this account, but these middle schoolers somewhere in Michigan. So I can yeah. post whatever I want and all I want and don't even have to show people. I'm, Cause once I get verified accounts, follow me on Instagram, I get nervous. Cause I'm like, I don't want to post nothing. It's like, you know, it's like you start overthinking it. You stop yeah. producing. You start to yeah, yeah, mastermind. Yep. And it was tough. So TikTok, I'm like, man, nobody knows me over here. And then I, I seen a video show up on YouTube. It was like trying to get TikTok famous in 24 hours. And then I watched that, and I started watching, binge watching them. And it was like these young teenagers literally getting TikTok famous in like 24 hours. And some of them failed, but then some of them made it. And then some of them did a week, a, a week seven day challenge. And I was like, I'm about to try the challenge. So then I did the 24 hour challenge and I literally just went crazy. I uploaded back to back to back to back clips. What'd you, what and then, you do? Yeah. Well, what, what is back to back to back to back? How many clips is so, that? So like, man, like six to seven clips a day. It was like, it was just as many as I could pop out. And then like, I seen in one video, this girl was like, oh, I just hit like a hundred thousand views. And I was like, I'm like, let me see, man. Cause I'm like, I'm gonna try for myself before I believe anything. Mm -hmm. So then I started posting like six videos. One of those videos, I can't remember what was the first one, but I know one of my videos popped off and it got like 10,000 views. And I was like, oh my gosh. And then my followers literally just started booming. And I was like, whoa, out of six videos, one blew up. So every mm -hmm. day, like I, I put the challenge on YouTube. I didn't go, I didn't blow up overnight, but then I kept doing it cause the traction was like crazy. Like I've never seen before. So every day I was posting like six, seven videos and then it was like game over. Like it, I had like till like till today, I have like 10 videos like going viral all at one time. So my account, last time me and you talked, I was at like 15K. Now I just cracked 20K and I know it is time to be able to do the interview. So I feel like the time Yo, was right, you know. That's dope. And that was a, that was only like, what, three, four days ago, maybe? Something like that, yeah. Yep. And I was at like 15K, I think. Yeah. Uh, and, and I know a couple of other people, like I, I had an artist where I was like, yo, man, get on, get on because, and, and he did it. And he, he hit probably 10 K in maybe his first five days on there. Yeah. Right. Yeah, and, and my, and my thing is a lot of artists, if you're, if you're on Instagram, this is what I try to tell people, bro. If you're on Instagram and you're still struggling, you don't have a lot of money. Right. And you know, so to really add, uh, pay for ads, to pay for people to post, like all that stuff, and you only have like three thousand followers, two thousand followers, you know what I mean? You can get so much more on TikTok than that in a short period of time. Like, why not yeah. take advantage of that and keep building? Um, yeah. Because, like you said, you you got twenty k, and you've been seriously going at it for how long? Uh, like two weeks. Two weeks. <laughs> Yeah. And then, and then the funny thing is like, man, like I've invested, I looked at my breakdown and for me, like, it's not a lot of money, but as an indie artist, I spent like maybe $1,600 on like Instagram ads, like mm -hmm. within the time of me doing it. And then I've got shout outs from like big pages and I've had my Instagram since like, for like eight, you know, seven years, you know what I mean? And I'm only at like 6k, you know, and to some people that's a lot, but to me, once you start getting into like, that, that, that higher ladder, like 6K isn't that much for people to really take you serious, you know? Mm -hmm. um, so like, that's kind of why I was like, man, how about me hop on TikTok and then try to get some people from TikTok over to Instagram, you know? Way better. Cause it's all about getting attention. That's yeah, all it yeah, is. Yeah. And yeah. then once those, once those people really meet, like once they're there, those are real people. Like, and then you can do whatever you want from there, you know? Yep. All right. So what's your advice for people who want to get into TikTok? And, and how to really navigate the platform from your perspective. What did you learn? Okay, so I'm gonna break it down a little bit. So one thing is to be patient. Also, a lot of people that I'm talking to, they see me on my Instagram, they shoot me messages and they're debating getting on there. And they're like spending so much time debating. And my advice is to create an account under a separate name. You can change it after 30 days. If you're scared about what people think, create an account, don't even share it with no one. And you can literally get 5K, 10k fans and they don't even know who you are they don't have anything to do with nobody who knows about you right now mm. so like don't overthink it just do it and get on there even if you got to create an alias do that change the name later after you build a fan base you know um and then don't get on there and be like selfish with it because i see a lot of artists see me on there and then i see some other artists that that pop on that i know and they're trying to get on there check me out listen to my music listen to me 
but it's really about just being a part of the community first. It's like, there's certain trends that might not make sense. Like my, I got a video that's over 800,000. It's literally me. I like grabbed my wife's phone when she was sleeping. I was being silly and I flipped it. I seen this trend. This dude was like flipping his phone over a pool. And I was like, I know I'm not going to drop this phone, but let me make it look like it. So I had my wife's phone. I was flipping it over a pot of boiling water, which sounds ridiculous. But that video blew up. And then I commented. <laughs> it's like so many comments, but I was commenting back and all those people like, oh, this dude actually respond. So then um, I like literally took time to watch trends to be a part of the community before I started posting and, 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 and not just saying, go check my music out. Listen to me because my goal uh, and my advice is to build a community and then start putting your music out there and trying to create trends and hashtags under your music and stuff after you, you can do it in the meantime while you build that. But once you have like a good 10 K, a good, you know, my goal is to hit a hundred thousand in like a month, which is like ridiculous, but I'm, I'm eager, you know? So once I hit that hundred K, I know that's a good base to build some momentum off. So number one, mm -hmm. like don't overthink it, just go after it. And then number two, like, don't just think that people are going to listen to your music because people don't care. Create the, if it's like a random, because TikTok is random, man, it'll be like this dude uh, who's like a famous YouTuber. He's, he did a bunch of professional videos and did one where it was a voiceover of a kid saying he don't want to do his homework. And, it, and that blew up, you know, like over his professional videos. Him literally mm -hmm. saying, I don't want to do my homework today. Why am I, why am I doing this? And then that video. So it's, it's literally yeah. taking time to study it and then recreating stuff. Like, um, mm -hmm. for example, one thing right now is, this is big for artists. There's this thing called check, state check. So you can go online. If you're in LA, be like, LA check. And then be like, if you're in LA, comment on this. And then that's a good way. Like I did a Michigan check and I got tons of comments of people saying, I'm next to you. I'm 30 minutes away from you. And being a part of those little trends first before you try to do your own thing, you know? So those are a couple, you know, couple things. The interruption, but I forgot this in my original recording of this video. So I'm just gonna place this snippet somewhere in the video, but this is extremely important. If you have less than a thousand followers on Instagram, really if you have 10,000 or less followers on Instagram, but especially if you have a thousand or less followers on Instagram, there's no reason you should be focusing heavily on Instagram. You need to be on TikTok. You could probably have more followers on TikTok than you have on Instagram in two to three weeks if you go hard and you do it right. If you use some of the tips from this video and especially a lot of the tips inside Brand Man Network, that's it. Make sure you focus and stop wasting your time on Instagram. Now, before I get into the rest of this video, make sure you follow and reach out to Trey because not only is what he doing actually dope and worth watching from that standpoint, it'll be a great way for any artist to watch how other artists are leveraging the platform and figuring out how to grow. And it'll be a great process. And as a reminder, if you wanna watch this full interview and get deeper to the other tips where we actually talk about certain content strategies he's using and other really practical skills and tricks that you can leverage yourself, you can check that out on brandmannetwork.com. But I wanna talk about some other things that artists are facing because he, he touched on a little bit on there when a lot of artists are hesitating, right? They're having troubles. And he even had that at first where he was like, yo, I wanna blow up immediately. That first video feels a little awkward, feels different. It, TikTok is a platform that you have to learn first. There's a little barrier, right? It feels a little weird being on TikTok because it's different than Instagram. But the big thing that Trey said is try to give value and be a part of the community first. I find too many artists trying to just get out there and be like, yo, like follow me when it really should be a 70, 30. That's what I'm finding a lot of success for, with a lot of artists where it's 70, 30, right? You build, you get your platform, you, you understand how to, stuff actually works and then you can start switching it up where you post 70 percent of engaging content and community involvement and 30 percent of a little promo because there are artists several artists that i'm either running a campaign with or that i know personally that are actually finding legitimate growth and translation from tiktok to instagram and tiktok to spotify it's one of the most impactful and engaging platforms that's been around for a minute I understand once again that it's different and you might not know how to apply it, but that's because a lot of artists are trying to be like, yo, how can I make this useful for me immediately? But what do we talk about so much? Give value, give value, be a part of the community. Stop trying to just say, hey, promo, look at me, figure out how to actually bring value in that community and be involved. Because 
There's a lot of underpriced attention in that space and we don't know how long that'll last. Here's an example of Instagram versus TikTok at the moment, right? I've started some profiles for people and just posted something in one profile. This is like super early on with TikTok. I was just trying to figure out how do I use this platform? Right. How do I use it? And I started to push the camera record button and it was looking at the ceiling. It wasn't looking at me and it got the light for like three seconds. Right. And that was it. And I did it by mistake. Posted the video. I'm literally trying to figure out how to delete the video. I can't figure out how to delete the video at the moment. And the video just stays there. No hashtags, no captions, no nothing. And gets five to six hundred views and like eight likes eight likes, five to 600 views on a first post and eight likes. Now I can tell you right now on Instagram, all right, cause that might not sound beautiful, but on Instagram, if you do that with a brand new video, no likes, no caption, no hashtags, no attention from the outside, you're gonna have zero views, zero engagement, right? So that gives you a slight difference, zero versus 600, that gives you a slight difference on how much Instagram is no longer in that organic phase where they're giving you organic traffic. You're doing hard work, right? You're working for yourself and you're working for Instagram at this point where TikTok, you're working for yourself and TikTok is also helping you right, at, the to at the moment. Because right now their incentive is to help you out because they're trying to get more and more people on the platform, help the content grow, help it move. You have to take advantage of it now because it's not gonna be the same as when you come in in a more competitive landscape. And if you get a position now, once things get better, you'll be in position to, be to receive the best, right? The rich get richer in those moments because you're in position to get richer. And those other people who are starting from ground zero, then they gotta face that struggle and climb a harder mountain. It won't be undo, um, hard to do, well, I'll take that back. It won't be impossible, but it will be hard to do. Just like someone could very well, you know, go to a million followers on Instagram. There are still people here and there that are growing pretty quickly on Instagram, but it's just less of the case. So please keep this in mind. Take advantage of TikTok, learn the platform, get to know it, even if you're not on it right now or you don't see a use for it right now, if you learn it enough, if it becomes truly mature and it actually becomes something that more of the world comes to, that people on it are getting older, TikTok is trying to make, it, um, make older people get on the platform, then you'll be in a position where you can actually take advantage of all that stuff because once again, if you wait, you'll lose. So that's it for this video right here. Once again, follow Trey Little and follow at Brandman Sean on TikTok. I'm going to start this TikTok thing. I'm going to start TikToking um, a lot more personally. I've been helping so many other people. I haven't got a chance to really get into it myself. Even Brandman Network on TikTok. Of course, if you want to get a TikTok campaign designed for you, then check out the link in the description below. We can help you out with that. And of course, this video is brought to you by BrandmanNetwork.com because aside myself, we help artists build their brand, their infrastructure, and grow their fan base. If you're interested in something like that, there's a link in the description for that as well. Go ahead and check it out. Other than that, if you like this video, go ahead and like button if you like it. You might as well share it. And if you're not subscribed, you, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button.